In this video, we're going to show you how to fix your Galaxy S22 that's running so slow or sluggish. Sluggish smartphones might have some issues with its firmware, although it's also possible that it's caused by some apps that also have problems loading up. But most of the time, performance issues are pretty minor and you might only need to do a few procedures to fix them. And the first solution you need to do is to close all apps that are left running in the background. It is because those apps might already be taking up too much resources that there's a little left for other services to use. To close the apps, tap the Recent Apps key. Once the app previews are shown, tap Close All to dismiss everything. After doing that, try to see if your phone's performance has improved. Now the second thing you have to do if the first solution fails is to force restart your phone. Such a procedure will refresh the memory of your device and reload all the apps and services. If the performance problem you're experiencing is just due to a minor system issue, then this should be enough to fix it. To force restart your phone, press and hold the volume down button and the power key for 8 seconds. This will trigger your phone to shut down and power back up. When the logo shows, release both keys and allow the phone to boot up. After your phone has successfully booted up, Try to see if the problem is fixed. If this doesn't fix the problem, then your phone might be running low on storage. So what you need to do next is check the storage space on your device. Because if it's already running low on storage, other services might not be able to create their respective caches and other files they need to run smoothly. To check the storage, launch the settings app. Scroll all the way down and then tap battery and device care. On the next screen, you should already see if it's a storage problem or not. If your phone only has 4GB of storage left or less, then delete some of your files or data, or uninstall the apps you don't use. Doing so will fix the problem. However, if your phone still has enough storage and the problem continues, then move on to the next solution. The next thing you need to do if the first three solutions fail is to reset the settings of your device. Doing so will bring the settings back to their default values and the good thing about this procedure is that none of your files will be deleted. This is how it's done. Pull down the notification panel and tap the gear icon. Scroll all the way down and tap general management. Tap reset and then tap reset all settings. Tap the reset settings button and enter your security lock if prompted. Now tap Reset to reset the settings of your phone. After the restart, try to see if the problem is fixed, because if not, then move on to the next solution. Performance problems such as this can be fixed by a factory reset. However, you have to spend a little time creating a backup of your important files and data because they will be deleted. Once you've done that, follow these steps to reset your phone. Launch the Settings app once again. Scroll down and then tap General Management. Tap Reset and select Factory Data Reset. Scroll down and tap Reset. Enter your security lock if prompted. Tap Delete All to proceed. Enter your password and then tap OK to confirm the reset. It will take just a few moments before the reset is finished. After that, you will be asked to set up your phone again. After the setup, it should work smoothly without any problem. We hope that this troubleshooting guide can help you. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.